this demonstration, we'll take a look at how to perform a port scan with Nmap while doing your security assessment. To launch a terminal session on our Kali Linux box, we're going to click on the terminal button up top on the toolbar. Now once in the terminal session, we can use Nmap and pass in switches to customize the type of scan we're going to perform. In this example, I'm going to do a TCP connect scan, which means that Nmap will do a full three-way handshake with each of the ports that it's going to test to see if that port is open. So I do an Nmap-ST 10.0.0.1 and I hit enter. You can see here after a few seconds, the Nmap results come back and we can see the port number and the protocol and whether that port is open. So it looks like this 10.0.0.1 system has port 53 open, it has port 80, it has port 88. Also, if I scroll down here, notice that 3389, which is the remote desktop port, it's open as well. Now there's other types of scans that we can perform with Nmap. We can also do an Nmap-SS, which is what we call a SYN scan or a stealth scan. And what this does is it uh, doesn't perform a three-way handshake. It only sends the SYN message to the target. And if the target replies, then we know the port's open. Now you notice here I do get a message when I fire off this command and it says that the requested type of scan requires root privileges. So I am going to throw a sudo in front of the nmap command um, to basically elevate my privileges to root. So I'm going to do a sudo space nmap dash lowercase s for scan capital S for the type of scan, in this case it's a SYN scan, and then the IP address of the system that I want to perform the scan on. It asks me for my password, and then I hit enter. So we should see here that when the SYN scan completes, the results aren't very different. In the end, it's still a port scan, but underneath the scenes, how it performs the scan is a little bit different than the TCP connect scan. So a full three-way handshake is not performed with each port, which technically means there's less traffic that's generated. The benefit of less traffic being generated is you're hoping not to trigger any of your IDSs. We can also specify when we go and perform a port scan, we can also specify um, things like the ports that you actually want to scan for. So for instance, let's say I'm looking for ports uh, 21, 25, 80, and 3389. So that's my FTP service, which is 21. Port 25 is I'm trying to see if there's an email service or an SMTP service. Uh, port 80 is a website. And I also want to see if remote desktop is enabled on that system. So let's hit enter. And you can see here that uh, 21 and 25 are not open, but port 80 and 3389 are open. So I can see from this that the target is running a website and it's also got remote desktop enabled. In this demonstration, you saw how to perform a port scan when assessing the security of a system.